Ohio has a lengthy history of being a swing state in deciding which party controls Congress. House Republicans hope their longest serving member from the state can win re-election in a redrawn district. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales takes a closer look. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, home to the state's first congressional district, where Congressman Steve Shabbat hopes to keep his seat on Capitol Hill. I'm a conservative. I'm somebody who believes that faith is very important. Um, I believe in values and the principles that I was raised uh, with. Congressman Steve Shabbat tells me his Catholic faith guides his public service. He's been a leader in the pro-life movement on Capitol Hill for many years. I was uh, the principal sponsor of probably the most significant pro-life legislation since Roe v. Wade, and that's the ban on partial birth abortion, which of course is a late-term abortion. Even some Democrats agreed with us and voted with us uh, on that. But now their party, has, they've gone so extreme. He adds Democrats have also gone extreme on education. Shabbat is a former inner city school teacher who tells me kids do best when schools uh, partner with parents. That, uh, the kids that did the best were those that had parents that really cared and, and came to meet with me uh, to see how their kids were doing, went to the PTA or PTO meetings, to different schools, have different things like that. So we ought to encourage parental involvement. And he says educators are forcing kids to learn harmful ideas. We ought not to, uh, to, to teach our children uh, that you have people who are victims and people who are oppressors. And that's what critical race theory does. There should be no place for that uh, in, in schools. You also sit on the Judiciary Committee, so the border crisis is important to you. What do you want to see get fixed there? The wall was going up. I wish we didn't need one, but we do. Uh, unfortunately, we've paid for that, the taxpayers, and it's sitting rusting out there now. Um, and we've paid the contractors already, but the wall's not going up. And we have people coming in at unprecedented uh, levels. Congressman Shabbat also tells me he has a proven record. They know where I'm at. They know where I'm at on the issues. I'm a conservative. I'm somebody who believes in fiscal responsibility, lower taxes, personal responsibility. And let's get this country back to where it deserves to be. Congressman Chabot's redrawn district now includes all of Cincinnati and his race is rated a toss-up by national pollsters. It's important to note that I reached out to Congressman Chabot's opponent, Democrat Greg Landsman. However, my emails did not receive a response. Near Cincinnati, Ohio, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.